Jack Obinion reveals what Governor Samuel allegedly told Yoruba leaders and what Obi told the Igbos. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A popular Nigerian politician and former senior special advisor to the Edo State Governor of New Media, Jack Obinion, took to his social media page and reviewed what Governor Sanwolo allegedly told Yoruba leaders and what P2B told the Igbos. Recently, Jack Obinion, who is a staunch supporter of the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, P2B, was on his official and verified Facebook page where he revealed that the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwulu, have allegedly told Yoruba to consider Tinubu's presidential quest the priority because he, Tinubu, is from the southwest. Jacob further said that P2B told the Igbos to assess all the presidential candidates and pick the best person, stressing that the Igbos should not vote for him, Obi, because he's from the southeast, but rather they should vote for him if he believes that he's competent enough to make Nigeria better. Jacob however, said to the public that Nigerians now have a better opportunity to make history come 2023, as he noted that it is time for Nigerians to take the country back from bad leaders. Jack Obinion's post of Governor Sonwolu's resistance. Governor Sonwolu of Lagos to Yoruba leaders, consider Tinubu's presidency your priority because he is our own. P2B to Igbo people, put all of us presidential candidates on the scale and pick who the best is. Do not vote for me because I'm from the East or an Igbo man. Vote for me because you believe I am competent and have the wherewithal to rescue Nigeria. Jacob beyond to the electorate, we have a unique opportunity to do something different and special and historic in 2023. Let us take Nigeria's back. Here you have it. See ya. I will rather vote for someone like I've been saying. I've said it before, even before P2B came out, and uh, I will like to say, oh my, they came out. I said that I would rather vote for somebody who is young. But I now said, if at the end of the day, I did not end up saying somebody who is actually young enough and is willing and is showing us that he wants to roll up his sleeves and work and put Nigeria on a better position or on a a motion to a better a better place that I will vote for any of the persons who is competent who who will come out and not just tell us uh, this is this and that is that and at the end of the day he will come and tell us I will rest I will do this one naira like the red just rhymes now one naira to one dollar this one to this like you know they are like that time when we were in school now in primary school they will draw something maybe parts of the body and they will write cross them correctly to the other you start drawing it no that i would rather vote for someone who will come and who will tell us the technical know-how it is different from when they say in an interview do you have an experience yes oh you are a very good with you are very good at ms uh, uh, microsoft office you say yes meanwhile when they sit you down to do you cannot do it somebody who will come and he's going to sit you down and say okay this one is this this one is that and he's going to even be working with it that is what I said. Then this happened. This is once again telling us to vote for the right person. If you are still voting for someone, okay, let me even tell you this funny story. Somebody came and, you know, it was, this was a gathering. My friend was telling me that they gathered together and they were discussing about this politics. And somebody said that he was going to vote for. They asked somebody who is going to vote for. The person said, okay, I'm going to vote for Tulumbo. Then they ask the person, can you state why this person is going to, why you're going to be voting for this particular person? And it was like, the way the, this person started shouting, making noise, he did his one, that any statement you make, you make, you say, I will a war, remember I will a war, because his own people were actually in that particular gathering. His own people, that is... And he was baffled that it was his own people were asking him what had, just give us two reasons. 
And as he was shouting, they were telling him, see, calm down, nobody's arguing with you. All we are saying to you is, send your candidate to us. You don't even know if you're going to be able to win us over. That was what they said to him. And this person went on and on. It was just, he did not make any point. You know, he did not, at the end of almost one hour of him vibrating and, you know, screaming at all over 101 times. <laughs> he was able to tell them, this was what happened. I have told us all to always go back, screen your candidates. See, take out time. This one is not a matter of you don't have time. Take out time, screen these people. Grill, grill them. Do research about them. Not all. Do little research. At least so that if you want to speak, you're not going to be speaking on hearsay. They say, Tenobu did this. You will be beating your hand to your chest and be saying, this is what he did. Then you will be, if they, they, they mentioned the one he did not do, you said he did not do it. You understand? And you counter it. And this goes well. This is me saying, if you want to market your can, if you want to sell your candidates, you have to market them in a very civilized manner. You have to come from an approach where the person will not see you as being defensive. Because that person was already on the defensive. There is nothing that that person will even say that will even make me want to listen. How do you want? Okay, fine. They ask you what will make you want to vote for him. What are your reasons? You state one reason. You state two reasons. And it may be, you know, me. I am supporting someone else. I'm going to say, okay, what of, you know, this person? This person also have this one. This person also have this this was some, before you know it, at the end of that day, you people will join your heads together. And the discussion is going to even help. You're going to even know more. Rather than coming out and you're arguing blindly. The issue I have with P2B statement is that Nigerians are not open to such remarks. The people are mostly bankrupt and morally bankrupt to espouse the reasoning of a humble argument. P2B statement will hold sway in Europe and the Western world. We are emotional intelligence as high and brimming. You can see for yourself now. Nah, try before others. We are finished. Anyway, me I don't follow you. Finish you at all. Ra, ra, ra. I'm not. In, I'm not with you. Humbleness speaks. We should not vote for people that believe that they own Nigeria or any ethnicity diversion. People of Nigeria, I beg, and I don't suffer enough. It they in a hand to decide whether they suffer, don't tire on her, or in a want better life for better Nigeria. Peter and Dati are contemporary in reason and indeed. They are people who believe in Nigeria and want to advance its cause. It is not through what someone says we believe, that through someone antecedent. Okay, you're saying it's not okay. Well, at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, people of Nigeria make a choice based on competence and capability. Okay, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.